from quietly stalking a foe waiting for the perfect moment to pull the trigger and deliver the winning shot that will take out the enemy, to expertly dodging and weaving through the battlefield while avoiding enemy fire, to launching a devious sneak attack on an unsuspecting victim. Who doesn't love a good Nerf battle? The Nerf gun is an ubiquitous toy beloved by children and adults alike, but how does a Nerf gun work? Nerf guns, or Nerf blasters as their creator the toy company Hasbro prefers to call them, are an incredibly popular toy that have been around since the early 90s. The first Nerf gun introduced in 1991 was the Nerf Blaster Ball in the Aerostorm, a toy revolver that shot Nerf's now famous foam darts. Today there are more than 21 different lines of Nerf guns and dozens and dozens of different models of guns, and that's not even counting the many discontinued lines from the years past. Add in a plethora of accessories like scopes and sights, dart holders, even cameras, plus crossovers with other popular brands like Marvel, Star Wars, G.I. Joe, Transformers, Fortnite, and Halo, and it's easy to see why Nerf guns remain one of the most popular toys on the market. Most modern Nerf guns shoot the same standard foam darts as the 90s models and can reach speeds of around 30 miles an hour, but many of the more advanced models have come a long, long way from the days of the Aerostorm. The Hailfire comes with eight magazines that hold 18 darts each and can shoot all 144 of its darts in just 30 seconds at amazing speeds of 50 miles per hour. The Rival series, designed for older kids and grown-up kids at heart, can shoot darts at a staggering 75 miles per hour. Some of the most advanced Nerf guns don't come cheap. The N-Strike series Vulcan and Longstrike models retail for more than $500 each, and they have a range of more than 35 feet. It's not just the guns themselves that have evolved over time. Nerf darts have come a long way since the 90s too. While the traditional 3-inch long foam darts are still in use, there are now also larger mega darts and darts with specialized tips like suction cups or velcro tips. You can get glow-in-the-dark darts, whistler darts that make noise when fired, or even message darts that come with a special pen and decoder. And with the rise of more high-powered models, there are also elite darts, which are shorter and shoot faster, and high-impact rounds which are small foam balls. Hasbro produces more than 450,000 darts each year. Since the Nerf gun was first released, that's more than 4 billion darts in total. In the last five years alone, enough darts have been produced to circle the Earth a full four times. Saying Nerf guns are popular might just be a bit of an understatement. Nerf guns have survived the test of time and proven to be one of the most enduring and popular toys for the last three decades. But these fun, simple toys actually have some powerful engineering behind them. And while the guns themselves have evolved and changed over the years, how they work really hasn't changed all that much. One of the secrets to Nerf's success is the fact that all the guns work in a remarkably similar way. Almost every one of the dozens of different models of Nerf guns available on the market today and throughout the toy's history fall into one of two categories. A Nerf gun is generally either a spring-powered gun or a pump-action gun. The now discontinued Nightfinder is a great example of a spring-powered Nerf gun. The small handheld gun is a simple direct plunger mechanism on the back of the barrel to fire a single dart. In a spring-powered Nerf gun, the plunger is pulled back to suck air into the plunger tub. A rubber O-ring on the end of the plunger creates an airtight seal and pressurizes the air in the tube. This converts the potential energy into kinetic energy, which is stored in the gun's spring. When the trigger is pulled, the energy in the spring is released and the plunger shoots forward, giving force to the pressurized air and causing the dart to fire out of the barrel. The higher the pressure in the tube, the farther and faster the dart will travel. In contrast, the rival Twin Shock is a pump-action blaster that holds 10 mega-sized darts and fires two darts at the same time. With an impressive range of up to 85 feet, the gun is primed by repeatedly pumping the action. When the action is pulled back, it fills the pump tube with air, and when pushed forward, the air in the tube is compressed. A valve in the pressure chamber lets the compressed air into the chamber itself, where it's stored until the gun is ready to fire. The trigger is attached to a rod, which when pulled back releases the air in the pressure chamber, which travels into the barrel and fires the dart. Some guns, like the Nerf Zombie Strike Hammer Shot, feature a rotating cylinder that automatically loads the next dart into place after a round is fired. After the trigger is pulled and the round is fired, a piston comes out and latches onto the cam bar, which moves forward and rotates the cam, which in turn rotates the cylinder and loads the next dart. For the Nerf enthusiast who understands the basics of the engineering behind how the Nerf guns work, there's a whole other world of options available to them. The Nerf gun's simplicity makes it perfect for tinkering, 
and many die-hard Nerf fans will apply modifications or mods to their gun to achieve maximum performance from these seemingly basic toys. Some Nerf gun mods are incredibly simple, and they don't require any special engineering knowledge or skills. Many of the simplest mods of Nerf guns have the ability to fire multiple darts one after the other. The InStrike Elite Triad has three barrels and fires the standard 3-inch darts up to 30 feet. Even when all three barrels are loaded with a dart, only a single barrel will fire each time the trigger is pulled. With a half-second delay between shots, the barrels of these multi-shot guns are a maze of different air pathways, and the pressurized air is directed into one barrel at a time through a process that Nerf engineers describe as a cascading blast of compressed air. After a dart is fired, a valve locks out the airway, directing the pressurized air to travel into another chamber, where it fires off a successive round. With a little knowledge about how these compressed air mechanics work in the gun, a smart Nerf enthusiast can perform a simple hack to get their gun to fire multiple shots at once. By loading the darts only partway into the barrel, the valves will remain half open, allowing the compressed air to seep into all three chambers at once. When the trigger is pulled, all three darts will fire simultaneously. But because the compressed air split between three payloads, the darts will not fire as far or as fast as they normally would. For those who like to tinker and experiment, they can take these simple hacks even further. Entire online communities exist that are dedicated to modifying Nerf guns, and some of the most popular mods involve increasing the range and power of a gun, modifying the gun to shoot multiple darts for a buckshot effect, or even combining multiple guns into a single monster gun. With some household materials like sandpaper, a glue gun, some plumber's goop, a Dremel drill, a hacksaw, and some pipe cutters, these savvy Nerf enthusiasts can modify or replace barrels, remove the gun's internal air limiters, replace springs or improve seals to give their gun an extra edge. Making homemade darts called Steffens is also popular among the mod crowd. These darts typically don't have the rubber tip found on official Nerf darts, which allows them to be backloaded into the barrel, as opposed to frontloaded as the guns are originally designed. This allows the bullet to travel the entire length of the barrel, where it receives optimum pressure giving Steffens a much better range than store-bought darts. With such a huge range of guns and accessories, not to mention all the modifications that can be made to them, it comes as no surprise that there's an equally huge range of games that can be played with Nerf guns. While sneaking up on unsuspecting friends or annoying siblings might be plenty of fun, many Nerf lovers have gotten even more creative with their Nerf games. There are classics like Nerf Hide and Seek, Freeze Tag, or Capture the Flag, and there are countless ways to test a gun's and a shooter's precision with target-based games like Tin Can or Paper Plate Target Shooting or for an extra challenge, a game of attempting to shoot a ping pong ball off the top of a pop bottle without knocking the bottle over. Some smart parents have even found ways to incorporate Nerf guns into fun and educational games, like spelling games and math challenges. Of course, one of the most popular Nerf games out there is Nerf Battle Royale, where teams of players attempt to win total dominance by taking out an entire enemy team. Creative Nerf battlers have been known to construct impressive battlefields, complete with cardboard barricades and camouflage gear. In recent years, as the generation of kids who grew up with the original Nerf guns have gotten older, Hasbro has smartly realized that it's not just kids who love Nerf guns. With the release of the Rival series made for teens and adults, Nerf battles have become nearly as popular as paintball among older Nerf enthusiasts, and the Rival series has become one of the most popular series for custom modifications. Knowing all about how Nerf guns work and the ways in which Nerf enthusiasts can hack these simple toys to give themselves an edge in their Nerf battles, it all begs the question. Are Nerf guns actually safe? Hasbro says that they are, although they prefer to call them Nerf blasters instead of Nerf guns, a term that's less scary for kids and more acceptable to their parents. Hasbro insists that each model of Nerf gun is rigorously tested for safety before it's released. In fact, Hasbro has a state-of-the-art testing facility at their headquarters where employees can test out the latest Nerf guns in a range of real-life scenarios, from the outdoors to basements to even dorm rooms. And since the darts are made of foam and the guns are not especially powerful, the risk of serious injury is pretty low, though not without their risks. For example, ahead of the 2017 Christmas season, UK eye doctors issued a warning to the public about the danger of irreversible eye damage from Nerf darts and balls. But even still, Nerf guns are certainly a much safer option than other popular gun-based games like paintball or airsoft. It just might not be a bad idea to wear eye protection, especially when playing with some of the more high-powered models or using DIY modified blasters. Nerf guns have been around for three decades and they probably aren't going away anytime soon. It may seem like there are cool new Nerf guns and exciting new options every time you look, but the engineering principles behind how a Nerf gun works have stood the test of time. 
that have changed very little since the Nerf gun was first introduced. The next time you're facing a heated Nerf battle, you'll not only know how a Nerf gun works, but you'll also know how to give yourself an edge with Nerf hacks and custom gun mods, and you'll dominate that Nerf battlefield. Your enemies won't stand a chance against you, now that you know exactly how a Nerf gun works. If you thought this video was fun, you'll want to be sure and check out our other videos, like this other classic toy-related one called How Lego Reinvented Itself, or maybe this other video is for you. As always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.